Hey guys, uh, we're sitting here with my super awesome snow corn snake, Buddy, and my cat, who's trying to get my attention away from what I'm doing, naturally. And uh, I was thinking, one, we don't shoot enough video of this guy, and that's a shame because he is a really awesome snake. He's super friendly, great to show to people, and just, I don't know, he's... I've said it before, I'll say it again. He's more like an old friend than a snake at this point. Or more like an old friend than a pet, I should say. But uh, anyway, so I was thinking about uh, something to do a video on. Um, I use aspen bedding in now all my cages. I uh, was using reptile bark in the ball python's cage, but just for convenience sake, and I decided to switch over to the aspen bedding just because it's uh, a little bit easier to clean up than what the reptile bark was and it saves me buying two different bags of substrate and that sort of thing. Um, truth be told, I don't even know why I kept the reptile bark as long as I did. Um, but anyway, so while I was in the pet store buying the aspen bedding, uh, this guy comes up to me in line and tells me to be careful about that. Um, it says he had a snake who uh, because of the substrate, got mouth rot and ended up uh, eventually getting pneumonia from it and dying. And I just kind of politely said, well, I've used aspen bedding for, you know, almost 10 years, maybe more than 10 years, my God. Um, but anyway, I've used it for a very long time. I've never had any problems with it. Um, anyway, so that got me thinking about doing a video on... Uh, what mouth rot is. It's, it's uh, such a serious thing uh, when it comes to snakes. Um, mouth rot or infectious stomatitis is when it caused, uh, well let me start here. It happens when an animal's, when a snake's body is so stressed, really not just a snake. Uh, lizards can get it, turtles can get it. So it's basically a reptile disease. But it happens when their body is so stressed that um, it can no longer keep the bacteria that occurs naturally in their mouths in check and so they develop this nasty um, infection in there like uh, sort of uh, uh, ulcers with lots of pus that sort of thing um, they end up you know where they, they won't eat um, they uh, eventually if it gets too bad, it can spread to their intestinal tract or to their lungs. Um, you know, they end up getting pneumonia, as the person who was uh, discussing this with me at uh, Petco uh, apparently had happened. But it's not caused by the substrate. And, uh, you know, I have used, I think off the top of my head, three or four different kinds of substrate. Well, five if you count newspaper and paper towels. Um... I've never really had any problem with any of them. Uh, snakes, most snakes, are pretty hardy creatures, and you know the a lot of the substrate issues, within reason, comes down to personal preference. I've never had any issues with uh, aspen bedding. I've used the reptile bark. Um, you know, the ball python ended up with some of that in his mouth and had to kind of you know, stretch and spit it out and all this other stuff, and that, that was annoying, but it didn't hurt him. Um, and it was one of the factors that got me thinking about changing it over in case it did happen to do that, but in the long run, it wasn't really an issue. Um, let's see, I've, I've, even, I've used coconut husk. I've heard people say that's bad for some reason or another. Um... Again, never had any issues based on substrate. Um, now, that's not to say that I know everything in the world by any means. Um, you know, if there's someone with information that they could, uh, you know, cite, you know, to uh, show me that there is a substrate that's bad out there, you know, by, by all means, please do so because I would like to know, and I'm sure anyone watching this would also like to know. Um, but what causes, going back to the point here, what causes mouth rot uh, is poor husbandry. If 
you're not keeping your snake at the correct temperature for that species or uh, the correct humidity level or in some cases if they get injured from uh, trying to eat the prey or something along those lines um, that can uh, stress the map to the point that their immune system becomes compromised and mouth rot uh, can set in and the same with lizards and turtles um, you know pretty much any reptile I imagine and so that's the main thing if you want to avoid um, a really serious ailment um, like that you want to make sure that you know what you're doing with your snake that you keep them at the proper temperature levels uh, that you're keeping you know them at the right humidity levels again you know it varies from species species to species but yeah you know, and just you know make sure you do your homework so that being said if you do unfortunately you know have a snake that develops this and I will confess I have never had it it's something that when I started keeping snakes uh, you know I got a book on snakes, you know, starting out, looked at it, saw pictures of the thing, it scared me half to death. I, you know, wanted to make sure that I never had to deal with that. And so far, knock wood, and I'm wrapping on my head here, um, you know, I've never had to deal with it. Um, but if it does happen, you know, of course, first thing is get your pet to the vet right away. Uh, if it's caught in the early stages, usually uh, there's a, a mouth rinse you can use. You can um, get that cleaned out and you know you know, usually your snake you know as long as you take good uh, proper care of it and make sure that uh, it's well tended to in the aftermath of that usually a snake can bounce back and make a full recovery if it spreads then it's another matter and that's something you know to leave in the hands of your vet uh, whether something could be done at that point I don't know um, I'm inclined to say not, but who knows, stranger things have happened in this world. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to have that little informative discussion on that, and thought we'd get, uh, some cool shots of Buddy here, who's apparently lost all interest in what I'm doing, or maybe he's just decided to pose back there. Uh, and I also thought I'd share, and there's going to be a little bit of red glare from the heat lamp, I apologize for that, but I'm not going to turn it off just for this quick view someone decided that he's okay with the aspen bedding he's soaking up his heat all right so uh anyway uh thank you for watching you know please like and subscribe if you're so inclined and you know uh hopefully i'll uh, be making some more videos like this in the uh, near future take care